Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Escape from Monkey Island for more point and click adventure game action. We are right back where we left off, on Luca Island, about to carry on trying to put together this homemade perfume that we've got right here to smell like the guy who framed us, uh, Pecknose Pete. Um, I think we're pretty much done for this area now, to be honest with you. Um, so we are going to head through this little archway here. And we're going to leave Luca Town and open up the map. So you can see there is a big island similar to Melee and everything. Up there at the top is the swamp, I believe. Yep, where apparently Pegnose Pete lives. And then this way, not that way. This way, I'm not sure what's down here actually. Uh, let's go over there and have a look. I don't know why he's not running. Uh, foreboding Mansion, okay. Who the hell's house is this? Scary looking bird. That watchbird gives me the heebie jeebies. Uh, scary looking fountain. That fountain gives me the heebie jeebies. <laughs> Everything here gives him the heebie jeebies. Um, can we enter it? I can. Who are you? And what are you doing in my house? Oh, it's Ozzy's house. I'm Guy Rashfreetwood, Mighty Pirate. I'm Guy Rashfreetwood, Zillionaire. Um, the love machine of Melee Island. I'm Guy Rashfreetwood, the love machine of Melee Island. <laughs> oh, the Don't voice. Don't make me laugh. You're just another maggoty pirate. My oh, name is Ozzy. Ozzy Mandrill. That name sounds familiar. Uh, aren't you a forgotten member of the famous country western singing clan? You're master of the pan flute, right? Weren't you the one who was supposed to bring balance to the force? Weren't you the one who was supposed to bring balance to the force? Don't uh... play the gink with me, Threepwood. Who's playing? Well then, allow me to illuminate the dingy corners of your mind. Come on then. Ozzy Mandrill is a businessman, a capitalist, a real estate developer. I'm also the future king of the Caribbean. Really? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're the guy who's trying to buy out the scum bar. The scum bar? That's just the tip of the yard bark. Tip I'm gonna the buy the bark. whole Caribbean. Uh, why are you buying up all the land in the Caribbean? Why are you buying up all the land in the Caribbean? Because I'm a man with a vision. You too? What are yours like? <laughs> I see a Caribbean freed from the chaotic plundering of grog swilling pirates. A Caribbean made safe for the orderly consumerism of family oriented themed restaurants and resorts. A Caribbean scrub cleaner filth. A Caribbean you'd be proud to take home to your mother. Gee, <laughs> mine are mostly about ice cream. Okay, and how do all my pirate friends fit into your capitalist utopia? And how do all my pirate friends fit into your capitalist utopia? Ah, oh, they'll be retrained. Retrained? Yes, the service-based economies of tomorrow's Caribbean will need legions of waiters, janitors, maids, and dishwashers. <laughs> Sounds crap. What about pirates who don't want to be waiters, janitors, and dishwashers? But what about pirates who don't want to be waiters, janitors, and dishwashers? What makes you think they'll have a choice? <laughs> Can't force them. Okay, and how do the dozens of pirate support industries fit into your scheme? And how do the dozens of pirate support industries fit into your scheme? They'll be torn down, of course. No more will these islands be cursed with a blight of run-down watering holes, murky voodoo shops, and disease-ridden houses of ill repute. Instead, our streets will be decorated with classy art houses, whimsical theme restaurants, and upscale knick-knack shops. Sounds rubbish. But what about the stores that won't sell out? But what about the stores that won't sell out? Ah, oh, they always sell out. Eventually. <laughs> mm. What about the children? But what about the children? What about them? I don't know. Just thought I'd ask. <laughs> I'm tired of discussing your warped dreams. I'm tired of discussing your warped dreams. And I'm tired of discussing them. Okay, what's your beef with pirates, anyway? What's your beef with pirates? Well, for one thing, pirate smell. The only thing that smells worse than a pirate is two pirates. It's enough to make a man park a tiger on the rug. Uh, yeah, uh, right. Uh, okay. What's with all the dead animals? What's with all the dead animals? I like having them around. They remind me of where I came from. Burbank? Australia, you ninny. <laughs> oh. Okay, um, my navigator tells me that you're pretty good with an insult. 
My navigator tells me that you're pretty good with an insult. Pretty good? Listen, Kitty Wink, I'll have you know that my insults have finished off over 500 hostile takeovers. There isn't a man alive or dead who can withstand the might of my withering barbs. I bet I can beat you. Oh, uh, really? And what stakes do you propose? Uh, if I win, you have to tell me all your secret evil plans. If I win, you have to give me a million pieces of eight. If I win, you have to do the chicken dance in the middle of town. Let's make him do the chicken dance. If I win, you have to do the chicken dance in the middle of town. Fine. And if I win, you have to leave my house. Agreed. So, what form of insult game shall we play? Let's stick to the basics, shall we? Insult sword fighting. What a catch. If I remember right, you can't beat him. That's, I'm sure that's how it works. But it's just a bit of fun. Bit of a throwback to the secret oh, of Monkey that is Island. So cliche. <laughs> okay. This is the end for you, you gutter crawling cur. This is the end for you, you gutter crawling cur. I've got a little tip for you. Get the point. When I'm done with you, you'll wish you had Baku right. What the hell? Oh yeah, that's that's it. You can't beat him because he uses Australian insults. Well, did you do to you too? Uh, I have no idea what you just said. I feel strangely insulted. I have no idea what you just said, yet I feel strangely insulted. You smell worse than a dunny budgie. Okay, I'm a what what what? I'm what what a what what? I'm as cunning as a dunny rat. What? Uh, ow, I think that hurt. Ow, I think that hurt. There you go. Ha ha! I lost. Naturally. Now get out of my house. So yeah, you can't actually beat him, believe it or not. But what we can get is this flower from his garden. And we're going to put this flower straight into our homemade perfume. Uh, not like that, we're not. We're going to use it and we're going to go round and put there, that in there. That should make my concoction smell better. There we go. And now... I think we might be ready to use it. Let's have a look. This almost smells like that hanky, except the hanky smells more mucky. Okay, it smells more mucky. What's in this bit down here, by the way? What's in here? Guest house, did that say? Okay, can we go in there? Nice, it's locked. locked, okay. I don't think we can actually get in there at any point in this game. I don't remember ever going in it anyway. Um, so we've got the flower now. Let us go up here. This is the Mists of Time uh, swamp where Pecknose Pete is rumoured to live. Um, we can't actually get through here yet. But I'm not what, picking that up. What I think we can do actually is maybe collect some of the crappy water in here. I've always wanted swamp scented perfume. <laughs> right, let's try using it now. Hey, this smells exactly like that hanky, only stronger. There we go, so we've made our Pegnose Peat scented perfume now. Which is perfect. Because that means we can, um, well, find out who he is. So let's go into the Palace of Prostheses. And we'll use this new homemade spray on Dead Eye Dave and see what he's got to say. Okay, Dead Eye Dave. I'm not picking that up. Do you recognise this? Woo! That's an all too familiar smell. Hey. I guess I can't complain though, since Zexophilia J Hangtime is my best customer. Ze Zexophilia J Hangtime. Zexophilia J Hangtime. Regularly buys prosthetic noses from me. Really? He's my uh really good friend yeah i lost track of him and uh missed him so much that i made a little odor potion to remind me of him okay too much information i have a strict rule of don't ask don't smell <laughs> okay well anyways if you know where i can find my uh friend that'd be very helpful oh yeah sure 
He lives out past the mists of time marsh. So he does live there. Can't get there though without the directions he gave me, and it's filed away someplace in my filematic system. Well, let's go get that file. I can't. Pongo, my filing monkey, ran away a while back. He was the only one who knew how to run the filematic. As a result, I have no idea how to retrieve the map. But if you can figure it out, feel free. The controls are right here. Right. Yeah. So we've got to figure this thing out. Uh, I do not remember how to do this, if I'm honest. God, there's uh, some dials here. How the hell do we do this? We need Sexophilia J hang time, wasn't it? I mean, if this works, this is just a ridiculous fluke. It's some sort of document. The it's name on it says Devin L. Hippospit. No. It has all sorts of useless information, such as prosthetic prescriptions, address, phone number, allergies. Okay, um, can we... It appears to be some sort of high-tech file retrieval system. I wonder if we can ask him about it. Dave? Yes? Uh, have you heard from your filing monkey since he disappeared? Have you heard from your filing monkey since he disappeared? What's he gonna do? Send me a postcard? Uh... Okay, anyway, um, so it doesn't look like... See you later. That makes one of us. He knows how to do it then. Um, okay, I have no idea how we do this. It's going to be a bit of trial and error. Monkey bananas. Okay, so there's a lot of different... I'm wondering if maybe they represent a certain amount of letters in the alphabet. See what this does. If not, I'll have to have a think about it and see if I can remember what we have to do because it's quite a complicated puzzle. I don't think there's really any obvious way of figuring it out. The name on it says Norbert F. Jamalama. It has all sorts of useless information, such as prosthetic prescriptions, address, phone number, allergies. Hmm. It's definitely not the right person, is it? Um, maybe it's monkey, monkey, monkey or something, I don't know. <laughs> Let's just try it. Free-headed monkey. Let's see if that's right. Come on, monkey, monkey, monkey. The name on it says, Nathaniel O. Surge. It has all sorts of useless no, information, such not. as prosthetic hmm. prescriptions, address, phone number, allergies. Okay. So, I don't think that's going to work. Maybe we have to go away and find something else. I'm not too sure, but we'll go out here anyway. And then, come on, out the door. Leave Guybrush, come on. <laughs> okay, um, I'm sure it's something to do with the letters of the alphabet, but I just cannot remember. Anyway, there's, um, there's another place we've got to go to here. But I can't actually remember how we get to it. So there's a couple of people playing chess somewhere, and I seem to remember that we need to get their little clock that they're using for their chess game. But I can't actually remember how we get to it. I thought it was by leaving through there, but maybe it's if we follow this path. Here we go. Okay, let's talk to these guys. Uh, um. Um. Yes. Uh, so who's winning? So who's winning? It's hard to say. I've been pressing Senor Castaneda's queen with my Montgolfier offensive. But I think the miserable Getz got me stymied with his Estrada barricade. Ah, I see. Yeah, yeah, I know all about that. Uh, I'm looking for a no-nosed pirate. I'm looking for a no-nosed pirate. Yes. Does he play chess? Uh, I don't think so. Then I don't care. This guy looks a bit like Otis, doesn't he? Um, your friend seems awfully focused on the game. Your friend seems awfully focused on the game. Notice that, did you? Senor Castaneda is exceptionally well disciplined. Right, Once okay. he sets his mind to a task, it's nearly impossible to shift his attention. Except... Yes? Well, he does carry something of a torch for Brittany, the bank teller. Ah. Interesting. Oh, I just remembered this. So, you, get back you have to, to figure game. out Thank what you. distracts both of them, I seem to remember. And then use it against them. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Yes. Uh. So who's winning? So who's winning? Uh, it's difficult to say. 
It appears that Mr. Santiago is employing a variant of the Barbarino offense. Oh, yeah. If that's the case, then my Kaplan maneuver should shock off his rooks. Ah, uh, yes, of course. <laughs> okay, um... I think we have to wait till he makes a move, if I remember right, and then try to say it's Brittany to distract him. Hey, isn't that Brittany, the bank teller? <gasps> Brittany, where? Uh, is that right? Oops, my mistake. It was just another two-headed monkey. <laughs> <laughs> I think we have to wait until the guy on the right takes a go. Is that right? I'm sure it's something like that. Uh, he doesn't seem to be doing anything though. Uh, can I play next? Can I play next? Sure, but you might be waiting for a while. Oh, why? Because chess is a game that requires hours of intense concentration. I see. Okay. Um, I'm looking for a no-nosed pirate. I'm looking pirate. for a no-nosed pirate. Does he play chess? Uh, I don't know. Then I don't care. Okay. Uh, I'll let you go. I'll let you game. get back to your game. There's something we have to do to distract the other guy as well, but I can't remember. They're what it using is. it right now. Um. Yes. Uh. Ye gods! A phalanx of cross-dressing trilobites. Where? Oh, okay. So we've just got to distract him with Sorry. any old thing. Must have been a passing cloud. Okay. So when he makes his move, we've got to distract him. I think. So we'll wait for him to react. Come on. Yipes! There's a spider on your shoulder. Where? <laughs> there nice we go. Move, Brainiac. <laughs> that doesn't count. You know the rules. You let go of a piece. It's a move. But, but, but. Rules are rules, Tabo. Fine. That's it. And now it's his go. Which means we have to distract him by um, saying about Brittany yes. when he takes his move. So we we'll wait for him to go. Oh, look, it's Brittany. <gasps> Brittany, where? <laughs> Ooh, good move. There we go. Don't tell me you're gonna count that. You bet your bonny butt I am. You unbelievable jerk. Who was it told me that rules are rules, Tabo? Fine. You wanna see a move? Here's a move. <laughs> you call that a move? This is a move. You can't Here do we go. that. Oh, yeah? Who's gonna stop me? Bug magnet. Soft rocker! I think we can pick it up now. Lard bucket! Yoink! Monkey molester! <laughs> what? <laughs> Monkey <laughs> molester, what on earth? Mouse anyway, Garland. yeah, those guys are just going to have their little argument now. So it all comes down now to this puzzle in here. Um, I know it has something to do with the letters of the alphabet, but I can't remember. Um, so what is 26 letters of the alphabet? So... Let's have a look at this again. Maybe there's a certain amount of letters per animal. How many have we got? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So we've got five. So potentially five letters per thing. So I think we've got to go, what was it? Z something. X and then J would be A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. So the second one. And it was, was it hang time, was it? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. So I'm thinking it might be banana tree tree. It's something like this. I can't remember exactly how we do it, but it's something to do with letters of the alphabet. Let's see if this works. The name on it says Tasman E. Eddington. It has all so sorts of useful information, right. such um, as prosthetic prescriptions, address, phone number, allergies. Right, what was the name of him again? No, I'm not picking that up. It was like XJH, I think. Ooh, ooh, stop spraying me with that. Sorry, but I want to be sure of this. Who did you say this smell belonged to? Like I told you, it belongs to Zexophilia J. Hangtime. Thanks. Yeah, so it's. Unless. 
I've got the amount of letters wrong. Uh, what if we try going to the next one for the stop staring at <laughs> for the J, I guess. So that'd be the X. What if we let's just try going to the next one for the J, and hope that works. Come on, it's something like this. I know the solution is something to do with one symbol per set of letters. What is it? There are directions to Pegno's Peak. Yes! Weird. Looks more like a train schedule. We did it. Okay, prosthetic nose. Um, directions. So, here we have... He said it looks more like train time. So we have times, and then a direction to go in on a compass. So east, east, south, east, all things like that. Now, that doesn't make very much sense now, but it will do when we get to the swamp. Because I will show you what we do. And it involves using that clock that we just stole from the chess players. So let's head over into the swamp. We can just go straight to the map by pressing that button. We'll go to the Mists of Time swamp. And now if you look in the top left corner, we've now got a compass. So what we're going to do is we're going to put our little clock down on this raft. Like so. And... Now the little clock comes up in the bottom right corner, so we can look at the times on this sheet. And look at the directions. There are directions to Pegno's Pete's house. Weird. Looks more like a train schedule. So it's me. currently 5:05, which means we need to go east on this screen to get to the next stage and go the right way. If you go the wrong way, and you don't have all these instructions. You just keep looping back to the start of the swamp. So we know what we're doing now. So it should be easy to figure out. But, I'm actually going to leave it here because it can be quite a bit of a long sequence um, and we're running out of time. So I think we'll call it a day here and in the start of the next episode we will do this little swamp sequence. Which is pretty cool actually, it's, it's quite a nice little jokey sequence so we'll, we'll get on with that in the next episode. Um, so yeah, as always guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click on that like button, it really does help the channel to grow so I do appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you're new or just haven't already done so. And I'll see you all next time.